Transport landing forces during ship to shore removement. It is used to land the surface assault elements of the landing force and their equipment in a single lift from assault shipping during amphibious operations to inland objectives and to conduct mechanized operations and related combat support missions in subsequent operations ashore. The AAV is designed to be utilized as a landing platform during the conduct of amphibious operations and as force multiplier during sustained ground operation. Ladies and gentlemen, may we ask your attention as the AW-109 multi-role helicopters of the Naval Air Wing Provisional do a flyover as a warm welcome to our guests of honor. He is designed to be utilized as a landing platform during the conduct of amphibious operations and as force multiplier during sustained ground operations. The East launches from the shore to the sea along with combat loaded infantry troops. Upon reaching the water, the vehicle driver switches from water track mode to water jet mode to engage its water propulsion units and enable the vehicle to navigate faster in the water. The AAV uses its vehicular radio system to communicate with other AAVs and maintain formation, speed, and distance while traveling in the water. As the AAVs approach the center beach, the vehicle driver then switches the mode selector switch from water jet to water track and subsequently to landing track mode to enable the vehicle to maneuver on land and provide armor support for sustained operations ashore. The AAVs provide direct fire support and could also give concealment for the Marine Operating Forces with its smoke grenade launchers and smoke generation system. The AAVs also have the enhanced applique armor kit fixed on the sides of the vehicle that is designed to prevent perforation and to enhance protection against projectiles, artillery, 
and IED fragments. Ladies and gentlemen, approaching is one section of amphibious assault vehicle of the Philippine Marine Corps under the command of First Lieutenant Mariver Evans V. Taghap, Philippine Navy Marines. now open its ramps to dismount the embedded infantry squads within the vehicle and perform various types of missions. Ladies and gentlemen, what you are witnessing are the brand new amphibious assault vehicles, the first to arrive out of eight program to be delivered this year. These vehicles hailed from South Korea, where its pioneering crew and commanders underwent training. These AEVs are equipped with 40 millimeter automatic grenade launcher and a caliber 50 machine gun which provide greater firepower for our marine operating forces. It could also engage targets both in day and night conditions. Given the archipelagic nature of our country, these AAVs could respond rapidly in any adverse security and emergency situations across the nation, hereby bringing the aid, disaster response, and, and security to the needs of the Filipino people. These AAVs will form part of the newly activated 76 Marine Company, also known as the Assault Amphibian Company under the Assault Armor Battalion Combat and Service Support Brigade, Philippine Marine Corps. At this point, the Flag Officer in Command of Philippine Navy, 